Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're on the uh, the server here. We're pretty full, as you can see. Uh, we have 81 people online right now. Um, but the purpose of this video, uh, it's long awaited. I I'm, wanted to do it a while back, but I just didn't have time um, to kind of sit down and figure it out. But I wanted to put together a really quick, simple tutorial for Townie. Um, it's quite a complex plugin. Uh, and truthfully, there's still a lot of stuff that I don't um, don't understand, but I have managed to uh, figure out the basics here. So hopefully that will be enough to um, you know get most of you guys started. So firstly, let's let's go over some of the simple commands. First of all, um, there's a command towny map. Now this isn't so useful right now, but it gives you an on-screen map of plots of land that are claimed around you or unclaimed. Now as you can see the orange line there right in the middle that represents me and these grey lines all around it as you can see on the key there means it's unclaimed so there's no claim property around me um, so it's not so useful right now because I think there's only one other town on the server with it being only started yesterday um, but when the server gets more popular and there's more towns being built you know this could be handy to find unclaimed land because Obviously, you start out with one chunk uh, of space, which I'm going to cover in more detail in a second. Um, but you need to bear in mind that um, you know, if you want to expand your town, you need to plan ahead. You know, you need to find a space big enough to accommodate you know the size town that you want to have in you know a month or two months or three months or whatever. So bear that in mind. So it's, it's a handy little thing. Uh, not so much now, but in the future when towns are more popular. Whoops towny map um, it's a handy thing just to see what areas claimed around you so you can see you know there isn't there aren't any chunks around me claim for a big distance now the next thing is quite simply to create a town now the way that it creates towns is that uh, as with minecraft it creates a chunk or it, it create yeah it logs a chunk as a town now a chunk is 16 by 16 but it goes from, which isn't very big, but it goes from bedrock all the way to the sky. So initially, your town will be quite small, but it will go all the way to bedrock and all the way up. So you do have a lot of room there, you know, if you dig down or build up. So to create a new town, first of all, it costs 10000 You can check your money by doing slash money. You can see I've got $44,000 right now. When you create a town, you can delete the town but you will lose your money so bear that in mind and you know th th that's just how it is but to create a new town it's simply uh, town new and then the name of your town so I'm gonna call it I'm just gonna keep it simple I'm gonna call it funky and it'll say funky monkey created a new town called funky now what you ne now need to do is find out the borders of your town because they don't appear automatically so the easiest way to do that, and I think somebody's teleported to my town, uh, is you just walk until you see the message saying that you've entered the wilderness. So by using that wilderness uh, message and the message that you've entered your town, okay, we're in the wilderness, okay, we're in my town, wilderness, my town. So my town is here, so that's where one of the borders, oh god, yeah, that's, that's a slight problem when I'm trying to do a tutorial, but never mind. Um, so that's one border there. If we keep going this way, we can do the same thing over here. Okay, that's wilderness. That's my town right there. And let's do the same in this direction. And there's my town there. And let's go this way too. And this way you can get the outline of your town. Okay, wilderness, my town. Okay, so that um, is basically, oops, I didn't mean to destroy the grass. That is basically my town. So we're going to put a nice fence here, just to keep things uh, keep things nice and straightforward. So this needs to go here. Let's just put a fence up really quick using world edit. Okay, so that is my town, I believe. Let's just double check. Now, if I stay within this fence, I shouldn't see any any messages at all. 
Yep, uh, but if I go over it, there you go, wilderness. So this is my town. So it's initially not very big, but like I say, you can go all the way down and all the way up. So it's it's a good starting place, and you know you could get a, a decent sized house in this or houses, depending what you wanted to do. But onto some more commands then. So the next one is uh, town prices. Now, oh no, it's not town prices. Sorry, it's hmm. Oh. Towny prices, my bad. Um, now, as well as paying for the town, you also have to pay a tax on the town. And the tax, as it says here, upkeep is $100 per day. If you do not pay that, your town will get removed. So bear that in mind. Um, there are real consequences to not paying your taxes. You will lose your land. Um, now, if you do slash town, now that I'm a member of a town, it'll give you some basic information. It will give you uh, the town size. Now, it says 1 of 8. And that means I've claimed one chunk of a potential 8. So I could have 8 of these size areas right next to each other to make my town. But uh, that increases as you get more people in your town. So if I got like 10 people in here, that would be a lot higher and I could claim a much larger area. Um, you've got the default permissions which are basically only residents can build and destroy within the town so it's all protected explosions are off fire spreads off mob spawns are off as by default and you've got a bank account now it's thirty dollars in there at the moment before you can do anything more you need to put money in your bank account because that's where it'll take your taxes from and if there's no money in there to take the taxes again you lose your town so to put money in your town it's quite simply uh, town deposit and it takes this from your personal account and then the amount so let's put 10,000 in actually we'll put 20,000 in um, and now if I do slash town it'll tell me my bank account now has twenty thousand and thirty dollars in it so that that'll last me a little while um, if you want to take money out of the town it's quite simply town withdraw and then the amount pretty straightforward now if you do towny prices uh, again it gives you oh, sorry I covered that one it'll give you the the cost of creating a towns and the tax that you have to pay on the towns as well as plots etc um, then you've got town uh, towny universe um, and that basically gives you a quick summary of all the um, stats you've got 611 residents two towns four worlds and two town blocks because that's what we've got set up at the moment uh, if you do slash town uh, towny list, I think it is. Sorry, town list. It will give you a list of the towns available. There's only two towns. There's Funky, which is my town, and there's another one called the Hills of of the Hunter, which also uh, the number represents how many members. So we both only have ourselves. We're the mayors of each town, essentially. Okay. Now, if you want to find out, if I want to find out more information about that town, I could type in slash town the hills of the hunter and it'll give me some information um, the mayor is hermit um, oh, sorry the mayor is hunter 56 um, he's got zero money in his bank account so if he doesn't put money in there soon he's gonna lose that town um, and yeah that's pretty much straightforward it just gives you a little bit of information about them now if you want to add people to the town only mayors can do that I'm just trying to break in only mayors can do that and to add a member they have to be on well there's two different commands depending on whether the person you're adding is online or not if you do slash space town add oops and then the name it will send an invite to that player to join your town and that's quite simply it it's just town space add name so for example town add funky monkey obviously I'm already a member but you get the idea um, now only mayors can add people but if you want you can assign assistance to your town and they can help you uh, with general town maintenance and adding people etc and to add an assistant you do town assistant add and then the name so for example I could put junkyard 129 on there as an assistant in fact I will And that should add him as an assistant, I believe. Or at least it will when he comes online. 
Um, so you can add assistance and they can help you put money into the bank accounts um, and you know just general town stuff anything a mayor can do an assistant can do but he cannot demote a mayor so you can't like have an assistant stealing your town so you don't need to worry about it. okay now the next most important part is how to claim extra plots now they are claimed in chunks so you decide which way you want to expand I don't want to expand in any of these three directions because there's water so we're going to expand in this direction and all you've got to do is move into the unchunked, uh, unclaimed chunk so make sure it says wilderness and you type in slash town claim and you've got to have money in your town bank account for this I'll just show you my town stats quickly again so we have 20,030 in here now to claim another plot it's 12,500 so it's a little bit more to claim plots right next to your main town but if I do that it says process town claim annexed area please be patient and if we type in slash town now you will now see that um, I've lost twelve and a half thousand dollars and my town size has gone from one uh, one out of eight to two out of eight and this is now also part of my town so we need to expand the fence once more so if we keep walking and there we are so this is our new town border so we now have an area that is uh, essentially 32 by 16 by 256 in height so that is a pretty good size I think um, let's do walls 85 there again and when we can remove oops, we can remove these ones so this is now our plot size it's a good size um, and like I say the more the more you, people you add to your town the m bigger areas you can claim so I'd really like you know to see you guys getting lots of members involved in building these and building some really large uh, you know well built uh, towns hopefully that will happen uh, we've got a few more commands to cover I think for most people that probably covers the basics but there's a few more things for us to go over um, namely setting your town spawn so for example if you want this spot right here to be a town spawn you just do slash town set spawn Ah, sorry. You have to set your home block first. Our home block is normally within is within the main chunk. So what you do first of all, sorry, is town set home block, and then town set spawn. There you go. And now, whenever somebody teleports to my town, if you want to warp to a town, by the way, um, I believe it's just town spawn and then the name. Nope. Oh, I typed this. Funky, not Funky Monkey. There you go, yeah. It's town space spawn space the name of the town. So, for example, what was that other guy's town called? It was called um, the Hills of Hunter. So if we do town spawn the Hills of the Hunter. And there we go. We're at his town. And I can build you, obviously, because I'm an admin. But generally, all this would be protected. You don't even need to lock chests. That are, that are within your spawn. So let's go back to our town. There we go. Um, okay, a couple more things. Plots and taxes. Um, so obviously the mayor has a town tax, which is $100 per day. So to help with that, what you can actually do is you can put a tax on your residents. So anybody who's a member of your town has to pay a daily tax. Be careful though, because if a member of your town doesn't have enough money to pay the tax, they get automatically kicked from the town. I don't think that's a bad thing, but you ju you just need to be prepared for it. So, for example, if I do, um, let's have a look. Town tax. Uh, let's let's make I don't know five dollars. Oh, towny tax. Sorry. Or is it towny set tax? Maybe. See, look, guys. Like I say, I'm I'm far from an expert here hmm oh town set taxes sorry I'm just a bit of a doofus today five 
Okay. So that's our daily resident tax. Every member of my town will now get taxed at a rate of $5 per day. And that money will go straight into my town bank account. And like I said, if they don't have enough money to pay it, they will get kicked out of the town. So bear that in mind. Now, uh, plots. Now, plots are sold in chunks. So we have two chunks here, as we kind of talked about earlier. So let's say, for example, I know he's not, but let's say that... Uh, is that Creep? Yeah, let's say that Creep Max wants to buy this plot of town for himself. Now, basically, the only difference with that is that only Creep Max would be able to build there. So what I could do is I could put this plot for sale by doing plot for sale and then a price. Let's say a thousand. I've now put this plot of world up for sale for a thousand and if we leave and then walk back into this area it comes up saying home for sale one thousand. And if Creep Max wanted to buy it all that he would type in is slash town oh sorry plot claim and now I've bought that plot and I've probably it's probably taken a thousand from me as well which is fine uh, but if we actually if we check our town bank account yes we've got an extra thousand in our town bank account now and if we leave uh, the actual plot when you enter the plot it says who is the owner of an actual plot one more command guys one more command we're getting there okay and the last command uh, that we need to go over is how to set a board and this is essentially a motto um, when you type in slash town you can see at the top it says board and it gives you a command to type in so it's pretty simple you do town set board and then you can set a motto so um, let's set our motto there you go and whenever ever somebody checks on my town now it'll have the board uh, motto there monarchy rules um, and that's pretty much it guys uh, there's not much more to say really uh, that's the very basics of Tony I'm sure it does a lot more than that but I think that should cover most of you guys so we've gone over how to b uh, claim a plot of land basic commands how to extend your plots or your, or your town sorry how to create plots how to administer taxes and that's pretty much it guys I hope that's helpful uh, if you need any more help with anything else, just let me know and I'll look into it. Cheers, guys.